welcome back to Nana Obi channel if you like it today we're gonna do a, this a little purse so show you to you Line it, the clubs. This is very good if you have to go to a wedding and then this happened after go to a wedding. So I come up with this idea. So now you wonder what is this? I show you right now. So this is a ring. It's a lactic ring. And then you put it here and then you hold it in your pocket like that. And then it doesn't go nowhere. If you open your, your hand, it stay here. So I think this is a cute idea that come out. Let me know if you like it. And uh, let's go see what we need to make this beautiful little purse. Of course you need the, the macrame cord. And then I use the silver from Ice Yarn. You know that I love this macrame cord. And for this um, little bag, I use one, and this is why I have left it for the second one. So, not that much. It's 100 gram plus maybe another 50 gram. So, that's what you need for this. And then you need, if you want to put it the same, my clubs, see here, I like it because you can sew it. Sew it. So, it doesn't show the little wings, it doesn't show up here because you actually saw it on it. Uh, I buy this on Etsy. Her name is a Sweet Craft Tools. But in the information box, I'll leave you um, everything that you needed to if you want to go buy there. So, like that. And you need the, uh, two, two of this. And also you need a two crochet hook, one 35 millimeter and one two uh, millimeter because we have to work in the canvas. Then you need the thread, yarn and needle, centimeter, scissor, and then of course the canvas. I always remind you with a big hole. And then uh, rings. Now, if you find something like that, or even this one, I buy this some uh, Michaels in the jewelry department. You can use this too. Okay? So, if you have everything, if you have uh, the ring, let's go make uh, this uh, nice and cute little bag. Okay, follow me in step by step tutorial. It's easy, easy to do. Uh, don't get in, you know, uh, scared about the stitch. It's a very, very easy to do. Okay, so let's go do it. Okay, I already make a, a, a part, one part from the purse, and then I make a 20 rows, and then I tell you. Um, in centimeter, so it's uh, twenty eight centimeter length right here, twenty eight, and then it's uh, nine centimeter. So if you're gonna make it with another kind of material, at least you have uh, the uh, the sides. Okay, with the macrame cord, this is uh, the sides. So, if you're ready, I can start to show you uh, the stitch. So, for this, for this tutorial, I'm going to um, show you a little swatch, okay? So, all you have to do is, let me go close in camera, slip knot, of course, and then this stitch is a multiple four 
plus 3. So that's what I'm going to do a little swatch. So it's 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then I get 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's a 12 chain plus 3. 1, 2, and 3. Now, yarn over and skip a 4 chain. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then you do double crochet. Okay? Now, we want to work around on this uh, double crochet. This is like that. Okay? So yarn over, insert the hook here in this space. This is a double crochet, okay? You have to work here around the double crochet. So turn you work. So for me, it's work better this way. So insert the hook, take the yarn, pull one. Again, yarn over, insert the hook around the double crochet, two, yarn over, again, last time, three times, three. Yarn over, pull the hook through, but don't close. Yarn over, skip one chain, one, in the second one, you're gonna do double crochet. Okay, so again, double crochet in the next one, in the next chain, chain, and then again we want to work around this double crochet, the second double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook, pull, yarn over, insert the hook, two, and three. Then yarn over, pull through, stay like that, yarn over, skip one chain, single uh, double crochet in the next one. And then again, double crochet in the next one. Okay, let's go call this stitch bean stitch. So you have to skip the chain just after the bin stitch and then the, the next double crochet you don't have to skip nothing okay so again yarn over work around the double crochet one two and three another thing don't when you do this don't do tight otherwise you're gonna have a problem when you have to pass through okay so do loose yarn over Skip one and double crochet in the next one. Okay, so again, another double crochet, the next chain, and then yarn over one, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through. Keep one chain and single a double crochet in the last one. Now, this is the first row. The second row is going to be more easy because you don't have to skip no chain, nothing. And then I'll show you how. So, chain three, one, two, and three. During your work, yarn over, and then you're going to do one double crochet in the top of the bin. See here, you have a big chain. You cannot miss it. The first one. No here. Here. No here, but here. We do double crochet here. And then because of this count, a first double crochet, we're gonna go around right away here. So one, two and three okay like that 
yarn over and then you are gonna put double crochet in the top of the double crochet in the previous row right here just right, uh, right after where we do the bin stitch so right here you put double crochet then again yarn over you go here in the top of the bin here and we do double crochet and then again we want to work inside one two and three close and double crochet in the top of the double crochet here and then again in the top of the, the bin stitch right here pull you double you double crochet here and then work three times one two and three close yarn over double crochet here and the last double crochet here the last bin one two and three close and then you're gonna close it you bin stitch in the third chain from the previous row and then you have it so like I say it's a very easy to do like I say again it's a multiple four plus three so before you start your project with big chain I suggest you to make a little swatch like that so you're gonna be confident with the stitch and then when you secure then you put it on all the stitches that you need it so uh, for this pan here I make a 34 chain plus 3 so if you if you want to have uh, my same size okay so do you first part of the little envelope let's go call it like that for uh, evening or wedding or a party or you know whatever you like and then um, I'll meet you at the end here and okay now I'm gonna tell you <clears throat> how many rows I did for my uh, body for the back it's a 25 rows just like that and now we're gonna um, make a, a single crochet all around to make a border here so I finish it here and then we're gonna start with uh, chain one and then the same stitch single crochet and then single crochet in each stitch available from the previous row and then here we have a chain two we're gonna do two single crochet in each chain one and two and one in the top of the bin stitch like that and then here and then again here in each stitch available that you have um, in the whole perimeter and then when you reach here the corner you do single crochet chain one single crochet in the same stitch all around until you reach this side okay so I'm gonna do a my and then I meet you here when you finish the first, uh, the first row of that, uh, single crochet all around we're gonna do another row of single crochet just for set everything the border and make up nice and straight so I'm here and then I finish it with the single crochet here I mean I finish it here we chain single crochet chain one 
and then I'm gonna close here to the next with slip stitch and then again chain one single crochet in the same stitch and then I'm gonna do another row single crochet all around just remember when you go here in the corner chain one single crochet chain one in the same corner okay so another row of single crochet all around okay at this point we need to cut the canvas so usually this is what I do when I do a panel like that cut one of this and then I put a bit of say it doesn't matter here if it like that just don't worry about it you have to count it from this corner to this corner and make sure it's even with the plastic canvas and then you put a this like that and then another one here okay and then you cut it just the, the same size the panel is okay so from here here and then I'm gonna start to cut it here around like that and then you have a two choice to attach the canvas or you can sew it on it or we can do it like I usually do uh, with um, crochet I'm gonna use it with the crochet because I think it's more strong and then uh, with the same size you cut the fabric two inch one inch uh, larger to the to the panel for the border you know when you cut the fabric you have to leave uh, 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 one centimeter in each side okay so I'm gonna cut this one I'm gonna cut the fabric and then I'm back and I'll show you how to attach the canvas okay I, I you see I not cut the yarn so I'm gonna start it right away with chain one single crochet in the same stitch but I gonna get the canvas too and then we start to do a single crochet all around take even the canvas just like that just like we do it with the with the bag remember okay so attach all the yarn or the um, body to the canvas and then I'll see you here okay I finished touch all my canvas I want to just to show you um, again how we close here so this is my last single crochet okay Cut the, the macrame cord, pull, put this in front of you with crochet hook inside all both, both loop like that. Take the yarn, pass through, and then put the yarn, uh, put the hook here in the last single crochet, just one loop. Take the yarn through and we recreated the chain see you don't have to do no uh, slip stitch nothing and then you sew inside here okay now I'm gonna cut the fabric and then uh, I'll show you what I have to do next before we attach the, 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 the we're gonna sew the fabric is inside it's better to see where you want to put the U ring so for me I'm gonna put it here so this is a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so one two three four five in the six here I'm gonna put the the, the ring and then I'll show you how I'm gonna put it so take a couple inch the macrame curve, a yarn and needle, okay, 
so we say one, two, three, four, five here. So pass here in the canvas through the and then because this is have a one, two, three space, I'm gonna use the middle one. I'll show you. But it depends on what kind of ring you have, so you can um adjust they only think that you have to make a shoe that's gonna be uh, tight so the ring doesn't go swing all over so like that I'm gonna go here now and then here already firm in place just a bit too to time it's hard to see when I'm, you know I'm not in a comfortable position adjust you know depend on how you want to put it there we go see just like that and then uh, you're gonna sew the camp the, um, the fabric gonna sew down the fabric okay so I want to just to show you how to attach the ring okay okay I'm already attached the, the magnetic clap I sew in sew in just like that now we have to close here okay so we're gonna take again macrame cord enough cut it and then we're gonna close like the usual so this is the closing star here gonna open the back and then we're gonna start from here both loop okay and then leave a long tail for we're gonna make it disappear later a little bit more okay and then you go again on this side just to make sure they're firm and secure just the first one here and here now we take it the, this two loop here one and two and one and two here we close it again in the next one both loop and we close 
two loops on this side, two loops to the other side. Here we close. Pull a little bit. See, just like that. So continue so here, and then after you're done, you uh, put the, the the yarn inside here, so it doesn't gonna show outside. And then uh, I finish sewing mine, and then I'll see you later. And then we have it finally. I think it's coming pretty nice. Look how cute it is. See? Look how nice. And then for today, I think this tutorial is done. I hope you enjoy make this a little purse for uh, you know for yourself or for give it away or uh, you know I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and then um, I'll see you next time thank you for watching